you ready? <laughs> okay. What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Happy Christmas Eve, everybody. We just wanted to make like a really fun, lighthearted video. Also a Q&A. We have tried to film a video like this a couple of times, but we've had like audio and lighting problems. This was a few months ago. But anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make like shop with me videos, home decor videos, grocery shop with me, cleaning motivation, and you know, sometimes fun videos like this. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today we have Brian. We are um, decorating gingerbread houses. We just put these together. We do have a couple like broken pieces and stuff. We actually found these Disney kits and I know everyone's gonna be like of course it's a Disney kit but literally this is the only ones we could find <laughs> so it just is a coincidence but yeah we found these Disney kits and they're really fun they come with lots of fun stuff like fondant super fancy stuff that I've never seen in gingerbread kits before so I'm really excited but basically we're just going to be doing a head-to-head face-off death match challenge of who can decorate the gingerbread house better Brian thinks that I'm already at an advantage Big time. Just because I'm a girl. Yeah. Which like, not at all. But I may have gone on Pinterest, so. You're all scared. day she's been looking at gingerbread houses on Pinterest. <laughs> but don't get, don't get too excited. This is probably gonna look horrible. This kit is really cute though. It did come with little like Mickey Mouse figurines. And we also did buy like pre-made doors and like little like light bulbs and stuff. We bought so much little fun stuff that we have right in front of us to decorate it. But we're just gonna go ahead, decorate the gingerbread houses, and answer some questions that you guys asked on my Instagram along the way. So if you guys wanna participate in the next Q&A, definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Katie Vining. Are you ready? Ready. Let's do Bring it. Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> May the best decorator win. Pick? What's your first pick? Oh my God, I don't even know. I don't have any game plan. I think my game plan is like fill the gap on the top first, but like, I'm not sure like what I wanna do for that. Those are lights, right? Are those yeah, yeah, yeah. Are those edible? Mm hmm What are they? Sugar as you're licking your lips. You're like, what are they? <laughs> this is like the most advanced gingerbread house I've ever done. There's like, we gotta like break apart these like shingles that go on the top. It's just. We needed a general contractor's license to build these houses. For real. And they're like Disney ones. Are these supposed to be enough. kid friendly? Enough what? Frosting. Better use it sparingly. <laughs> I'm like halfway done with my frosting. Oh my God, why did you put so much? Because you gotta cover the gap. <laughs> what are you gonna do? There's still a huge gap in yours. Well, that's all gonna fall through. Give it time. Yeah, I will. It's gonna fall through over time. Wait. All right, what questions do we have for okay, us today? Okay, we'll just go over the first one that a lot of people asked. They wanted to know like how we met, like what that whole story was. We they don't. don't we'll know do yet? like no because we filmed it like a couple times, but we were gonna do this other series that we never ended up doing, and we just kept having like camera and audio issues when trying to film it, so we never Good actually time. like told them on YouTube like I guess how we, didn't. we met. Uh. But like the brief version is that we met on Hinge. Hinge. So we yeah, we met on Hinge, which if you don't know, is a dating app. Just like Tinder or Bumble or whatever. Yeah. But, but it's the fancy one. Yeah, it's definitely like the fancy one. Um, but yeah, we met on Hinge. Like our first conversation was like about pineapple on pizza. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was super pretty and I didn't really have a chance. So I just threw out a pickup line about pineapple, whether or not it belongs on pizza. And it worked. Her reply was, oh crap. <laughs> Do you have napkins over here? No. No. <laughs> My first line was, does pineapple belong on pizza? And she replied with, I have a theory on that. And I knew it was going to work out. My theory is that a lot of people just don't like ham because a lot of times pineapple on pizza is like Hawaiian pizzas. And I feel like a lot of people don't like ham. So that's why I feel like people think they don't like pineapple on their pizza. But if they tried it like without the ham, maybe they would like it. So that was my theory. How's it going? Looks great. <laughs> okay, we got a lot of questions too. That was like, how did you know that he was the right one for you? Or like, what was what was the moment when we... S what happened? <laughs> oh no! What happened? I don't know. What did that happen? Babe, was there a moment where you were like, this is a done deal? Yeah, when... Oh, there was? I don't know, our, our Thursday date? Yeah. Our so our second date? Second date. <laughs> yeah, so we went on our first date on a Tuesday and then said I love you and became boyfriend and girlfriend on Sunday. It was quick. It was quick. I know that's gonna seem like so crazy to a lot of people, but it's just really weird. I don't know, it, like I never thought, like we both like were never like, oh, like when you know, you know, because you always like think, I feel like you think you know sometimes, but like, I don't know. I've never like been so sure or like so like comfortable, I guess. I don't know, it was just like so, 
natural. Yeah, I just simply never had one of those like when you know you know moments ever before and with her I did. We That's just went for it. I knew. This is not going well. This is not at all like the frosting that I remember. The frosting I remember was so much more like pliable and took forever to dry. This stuff's like super dry already. We do have like pre-made like windows and doors and stuff that we bought at Target. Okay, the next question is why would we move? Well, people asked what happened to like moving into your house? And then why would we move to an apartment and not a house? So plans changed with the house that Brian owned. That was an investment property with other members of his family. And people's, everyone's plans kind of like changed over the last like, I guess year. It just really wasn't like, not that it wasn't an option, but we just felt like for everyone, everyone just felt like it was a better decision to like use it as an Airbnb or decide to sell it or whatever they ultimately end up deciding to do with it. And so we decided to get our own place. And we're moving into an apartment because we want to save to build our own house. Although living in an apartment, we're not really not saving money because yeah, it's, it's just as expensive. We picked, of course, like the nicest apartment complex near us. It's cheaper to move into. It definitely yeah. will save us money Rental. a little bit. So like, okay, so for instance, it's probably like this everywhere maybe, but where we live, to move into a house, like a rental house, you have to have like first, last, and security. So it ends up being like six grand, like just to move in. But to move into an apartment, you just have to pay like the rent and like a pet fee. And so it's like way cheaper up front. Plus, both of us haven't lived in an apartment in a really long time. Like and a decade for me. And there was a brand new apartment complex opening right down the street from where we live right now. It was just so nice. Like, it, it'll just be fun for like a year or a year and a half to two years. Um, we're hoping that's like how long that we'll live there. And then we're hoping that we'll be able to buy our dream house or build it. So that's kind of our plan. Um, which kind of like leads into the next question of like, do we have plans to get married? And like, what are what's our plan? Like, do we have a plan? That's a very serious question for uh, gingerbread house making. I know. I feel like we don't have like, well, we, we want to get married. Yeah. We're not engaged, but we do want to get married. Mm -hmm. We don't have like set plans. Like we kind of have like a timeline, like, oh, maybe this will happen by this age or whatever. But honestly, as you guys have seen with 2020, you definitely have to just expect the unexpected. I honestly don't want to know anything. So we have like general timelines, but no like set plans for sure. But we definitely know what we want. We just have to like work out all the details as they come. All right, this is a good one. So do you consider yourself to be a Disney fan? And like how much of a Disney fan would you rate yourself from one to 10? I'm definitely more of a Disney fan. Like Since I've been with you. Mm -hmm. Prior to being with you, I would rate myself around, well, what? there's a difference. Are you talking about like the parks or the movies? Um, like the parks, I guess. Then I said before you, I was probably a two. Okay. Post you, at this point, I'm probably a seven. <laughs> when we first started dating, Brian would get really stressed, like to go to the parks. Because for most, like for all normal people, it's like a big production. Like you pay a lot of money to go and all the food and packing all this stuff for the whole day. Whereas like people who go there all the time, like cast members, annual pass holders that live in the area, like it's so normal to just be like, oh, you wanna go? Like, let's just go. And you just grab your bag and you just go. And it's like really casual. That was a foreign concept to me at first. Do you feel like it's like getting better? Like, do you feel better now? For we sure. do pack like snacks and stuff. Like we've gone to Disney a bunch of times and haven't spent any money. And then last time we went, we did get like popcorn and stuff, but like we haven't ever spent like over $50 at the parks ever. So. Which is great. Um, Cause yeah, growing up for me, it would be like a week long vacation. You would drive, I would drive to California um, to go to Disneyland. It would be a super long vacation, massive production. And here, since I lived here, I've never had an annual pass. So I've just gone like here and there. But with her tickets and everything, it's like, you can just like wake up at eight and be like, we're gonna go to the park at noon. And you can, and it's great. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely more of a Disney person now that they've acquired um, Lucasfilm because of Star Wars. Like I've watched the Star Wars at like my whole life. Definitely became more of a Disney parks person when Galaxy's Edge opened and will probably be more of a fan forever now. How would you rate yourself? Me? Yeah. Uh, I would probably give myself like, I mean there's definitely people that are crazier than me. Like don't get me wrong, like I love Disney, but like some people buy like all the merch and like have seen all the movies and I 
I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself like a nine. Like Disney culture wise, I definitely like a 10, like fan wise. Like I'm obsessed with like the culture of Disney and everything. And like being a cast member, like if you're new here and you didn't know, I used to work at Disney. I got furloughed because of COVID. So like Disney culture wise, like I would definitely say like a 10, like I'm obsessed with the Disney culture and the parks and stuff, but like movies, I'm, I'm just not a big movie person. I don't know, probably a nine overall. You're definitely not a movie person. Nine overall, I would say. Like there's definitely, there's definitely people crazier than me, but I'm absolutely crazier than a lot of people. Okay, what simple thing around the house do you fundamentally, do you, <laughs> what simple thing around the house do you fundamentally disagree on? Toilet paper, for example. No, we're on the same page with toilet paper. Closing soap bottles in no, the shower. No, I don't do that anymore. Anymore. <laughs> so we no longer fundamentally disagree. She used to just leave all soap bottles in the shower open and I was just like, Um, wow. I have this like weird habit of like leaving the fridge door open. Oh my. While I'm cooking. That's not a fundamental disagreement, is it? Okay. Like, what about um, making the bed? Making the bed, okay, that's a good one. I aspire to be someone that makes the bed. Whereas Brian's like, well, cause, okay, so we get up at different times most of the time. Brian is a morning person. And so he likes to like get up and like do all this stuff and I just like to like not. <laughs> so I guess it would be like my responsibility to get up and make the bed, but I never do. So a lot of the times, like when we make it, it's not until like the afternoon. Which isn't really fair. Like she shouldn't be the one having to always make it. But yeah, like when it was just me when I was single, I would get up and make the bed because I was the only one that was gonna get out of that bed that day. So, but she sleeps in usually a little bit later than me and like I can't get up and make the bed with her in it, obviously, so. Um, you do make your side though. Sometimes I do. <laughs> He'll literally like pull it up and like straighten it, like just on his side. It just makes me that. feel better going into the day. It's definitely like a great thing to like accomplish really easily, like in the morning or whatever. Someone asked, did Brian go back and watch all your YouTube videos when you told him you were a YouTuber? I watched some is the answer. Some? <laughs> some were watched. So it's a lot, it's a lot to watch. Give me a break here. Well, what did you think like when I told you, when you found out that I did YouTube? It was definitely like weird, I feel like. Not like you were like freaked out by it, but like a lot of people just don't understand. And I didn't. I really didn't understand that you could actually like make money. I didn't realize that you could like make a living on YouTube as like, she'll be huge one day, but like, Obviously her account's like medium size or what whatnot. I'm and on I a micro channel right now. Your micro channel? I didn't, I don't know. Um, but you can obviously like make money doing it, like make a living. Um, so that kind of blew my mind. I didn't understand that even. Same with your family too. Family, they yeah, kind of similar of reaction. But yeah, I don't, I don't think I realized that you could actually make a living doing it. So it was really cool and totally blew my mind for like the first, I don't know. When you started, I was just like, wait, you're actually making that like And you were like money. reserved a little bit. No! What? They fell. I think that you were like reserved at first because he was like, I feel like people just don't understand like, and I get it, like it makes total sense. But like, he was like, well, I just like don't want like our whole lives like to be on YouTube, which is like fair for sure. Someone asked me, I guess it's like geared more towards me. Two different questions. One was, am I gonna miss living with my friends like when we all move? Um, yes. My roommates have actually all already moved out. So like Eddie and Travis, they got their own place and then Kim, my other roommate, she got her own place and they already actually moved. Um, the apartment complex they were moving to um, couldn't hold their units so they all decided to move a little bit early. So it's just been us in the house for like two weeks. So it's actually already just been us and I miss them a lot, like it's definitely a lot quieter, but I feel like it was like definitely the next step, like everyone was just ready to like go out and like live on their own. He always said that like, it, it's like we've been living on the Disney College program like this whole time, which I could definitely see like why, because we always like talk about the Disney College program and because like we're all just still like living together and it was like a sorority house, that's what Brian always said. It was just fun, like there was just always someone around um, but I definitely think like we were just all at the point where we were ready to like have our own place and kind of like do that phase of life. So definitely miss them, but really excited like for it to just be the two of us and for us to just start this next chapter. What was that? What? Another one fell. They're all going. They're all going. Have we passed wind in front of each other yet? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, no. 
Is our table gonna be ruined with like red dye? There's a decent chance. It might, yeah. This is just a mess. They're like sprinkled everywhere. This roof's just sliding off. Like this stuff's not, <laughs> it doesn't hold it. It won't, this is gonna slide all the way off no matter how hard I turn. Would you like to draw? Draw. <laughs> Did I you mean, guys watch the Queen's Gambit? My hands are so This is sticky. just, it doesn't make sense. Like why, this is supposed to harden, right? It was going so well. Somebody said, Duncan, Starbucks, or Joffrey's favorite drink at each. I don't even think Brian knows what Joffrey's is. Joffrey's is like the Disney coffee. I know, I've been there. Oh, you have? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, he does know what it is. I see you took me there, Katie. To Joffrey's? <laughs> yeah. We don't drink Joffrey's. We got Joffrey's when we went with Eddie and Travis. No, we got Starbucks. No, we didn't. We went to the, by the bathroom. Starbucks. Mm-mm. It was Joffrey's. We don't drink Joffrey's. We got it at whatever park we were at. I think Hollywood Studios. Huh? No, that was Starbucks. Babe, there's a Joffrey oh. stand. Oh! He's right. Well, I think I just got an icy. You got a coffee and it sucked. Or Eddie got a coffee and it sucked. This is Either two way, seconds away from fully collapsing. I don't like Joffrey's. When I was a manager in Italy, they had this like caramel apple chai latte at the America Pavilion and I would run over there like every day when it was slow and buy that. So that would probably be my favorite thing. They have like fun seasonal drinks. Dunkin' Donuts we never get, but if I was to drink Dunkin' Donuts, I would get a medium iced coffee with two pumps of vanilla swirl and almond milk. And then we drink Starbucks every day. Tell them our normals. Cold brew, I get caramel in mine with sweet cream foam. She gets peppermint and vanilla with sweet cream. Mm -hmm, like the liquid inside. So. Definitely we would both choose Starbucks. For sure. Cause it's... I like at home coffee too. I like at home coffee cause it's just like easier, but it's really nice when somebody else like makes your coffee for you. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? I was trying to put the roof up and it snapped. <laughs> well, I think that would be a good time to end the video. <laughs> We tried. Hey, stop. Brian! Stop. This is such a mess. Hold it up. You didn't even try. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I made a little path and I put Pluto and I gave him a so doggy annoying. door. Oh, it's okay. This is Brian, everybody. Isn't it beautiful? Make sure you let us know down below who you like better. Just wish them a Merry Christmas Eve. We wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Merry Christmas Eve. Let us know down below if you wanna see a what we gave each other for Christmas video. We're thinking about doing that. It would be similar to Black Friday, how I did a bonus video of Black Friday haul. <laughs> So let us know down below if you would be interested in seeing that and if you'd want to see it on Christmas Day, like as soon as I could get it up or if you wouldn't mind waiting until Sunday and it could be my Sunday video. So just let me know what you guys want or what you're thinking. We are happy to do that for you guys. But I guess that's going to be it for the end of the video because Brian's all frustrated. Brian's like very competitive. Like I feel like I'm pretty competitive, but then I met his family and I was like, oh, I'm like not competitive at all. They're like crazy competitive. We're They're so competitive especially with each other because Brian's one of four and I feel like they're all really similar in ages like you guys are really close in age and so they're just really competitive um so he's just like a little bit upset but that is going to be it from us we wish you guys a merry Christmas we hope you guys have a fun and safe holiday with whatever you are choosing to do we're just cooking and hanging out at home but that is going to be it from us tell them what to do like and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up oh. and hit the subscribe button down below and we will see you next time. Merry Bye Christmas. guys, Merry Christmas, see ya. So basically, this was the aftermath. Brian got mad and blew my house in, so. Big bad wolf. So this is love. Mm -hmm. You're nice, Mickey, but these house break <gasps> easy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> But yeah, so this was the end result. Let us know whose house you like better down below. Bye guys.